Hi, I'm Steven Jedlicka, and I'm here to show you VBSIG Studio. VBSIG Studio is a new tool that we're releasing with VBSIG 2.3. It is a tool that allows you to easily configure and set up multi-channel IG configurations. Let me show you how easy it is to walk through and set up a configuration right now. This is VBSIG Studio. The first thing you'll notice as I move through the setup is that VBSIG Studio guides you through the setup process with a wizard-based system. The first steps in VBSIG Studio is to select the build that you want to use with your configuration. After you've selected your build, click the Next button. On the next screen, you select how to connect a host to VBSIG. In this particular instance, I'm connecting a VBS3 host to the IG channels. It's as simple as dragging and dropping the computer that the host is going to run on over to here. After you've done that, you can also click the eye icon to identify the host computer that you've selected. On the next screen, we have channel layouts. In this particular setup, I have three IG channels representing the view of a cockpit helicopter simulator. On the next screen, we can assign the view to each channel you set in the previous configuration. Again, it's as simple as dragging and dropping the view that you want right onto the channel. After you've set them up, you can click the eye icon to quickly identify the channels that you have set up. Now we're on the group settings page. Group settings allow you to configure group of alike channels to share configurations like camera offsets and attach points and warp and blend settings. Now we're on the channel settings page. This allows us to do fine grain control over each IG channel. You can set options like screen resolution, monitor output, field of view, and camera offsets. Now we're on the IG network settings page. This allows you to go through all the settings for networking and configure exactly how you want your host to connect using ports and IP addresses that you would use on your host computer. The advanced settings page is for controlling all the deep integration of settings that are possible and allows for performance tuning within the particular IG system. And lastly, one of the most powerful features of IG Studio is the ability to synchronize your builds. From the remote host computer, you can push out all of your VBS IG builds, your content, your models, to your remote IG channels without using a keyboard or mouse on each remote IG computer. This saves a lot of time, especially when you have a lot of channels or a lot of data that you need to push out to your channels. Now that my project is set up, I can go ahead and hit the launch button to start the mission. In this particular setup, we are using VBS3 as a host, and we're set up a mission that allows us to use the remote VBS3 IG channels as a view into the cockpit. Now we're going to start the mission. This will connect the VBS IG channels to the VBS3 host and allow the mission to be properly configured to control those channels. All you need to do to configure your VBS3 mission is to connect an IG view object in your mission. This view object can be used and attached to any object that you want within your mission. The IG view object loads all the configuration data that was set in DBS IG Studio, and when you link it to your helicopter that we've dropped into this mission, puts it into the correct position so that each channel can be viewed as if they were a continuous view. Now, this helicopter is controlled just like any other VBS3 object. All the controls that work with VBS3 all work with this setup. Currently have a flight stick and a collective connected to the simulator, and, and now we're interacting with the VBS3 flight model and the VBS3 environment so that whatever mission or scenario that you have planned within VBS3 can be represented even in your full mission simulator. VBS IG is rendering all the window views from the cockpit. So we set out to make configuring and setting up multi-channel configurations easier with VBSIG Studio, and I think we've accomplished that. Thank you for checking it out.